Hello loves, welcome back to Wander Tarot and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I'll be tapping into Pisces energy for your love reading for the rest of March 2024 until your next reading. Keep in mind that these are general readings and they may not resonate with you, so please take what resonates and leave the rest for others. Let's go ahead and jump into the ancestors, archetypes, and guides that are here for the greater good and higher self of Pisces. Thank you for constantly guiding and protecting them thus far, and I pray that they can continue to receive those gifts from you. Please let me be a channel to bring them the messages that are trying to find them. All right, Spirit, the person that's on Pisces' mind at this time, how do they currently see Pisces? One card upright or reverse, nothing off the ground. How does the person on Pisces' mind currently see Pisces? How does the person on Pisces' mind at this time currently see Pisces? Thank you, Spirit. And what are their intentions? The person that's on Pisces' mind at this time, what are their intentions with Pisces? And what is their next likely action towards Pisces' Spirit? person that's on Pisces' mind at this time. What is their next likely action? Okay, how does Pisces currently see the person that's on their mind at this time? Pisces current intentions with the person that's on their mind. And what advice do you have here for Pisces regarding the person that's currently on their mind, Spirit? What advice do you have for Pisces? Let's get in and clarify a little bit more here. Thank you, Spirit. Universe guides. So both decks, um, right off the bat, tapping into your energy Pisces, are um, kind of clumping together, not wanting to shuffle, not wanting to really work with me, and it almost put me into, well it did put me into an energy of having to take a deep breath and to slow down, so that may be a message for some of you in regards to um, mistakes or um, going too fast, missing steps needing to um, stay focused for some sort of target or goal or intention. All right, so at this time right now, Pisces, the person on your mind 
currently sees you as the Five of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. We're going to clarify both separately. Spirit, why the Five of Pentacles in reverse on how the person on Pisces mind currently seeing Pisces? Why the Five of Pentacles? We've got the Ten of Pentacles. So right now they see you in a space of making positive changes for yourself. Probably overcoming outside forces and um, just in a stable place. That's how they currently see you. Um, right after that is the Nine of Pentacles, another independent card. Spirit, why the Nine of Pentacles in regards to how Pisces person on Pisces mind currently sees Pisces. We've got the Page of Wands. They definitely see you as um, being in a curious space. Like, so you're, they see you as independent, but also uh, looking into whatever intrigues you. Um, possibly willing to make space for new things to grow. And so their intentions towards you at this time, Pisces, is the Nine of Cups, another independent energy. Um, but for that to be their intentions, let's see what Spirit can tell us. The Seven of Swords, one more. How are these, uh, what, are, what intentions towards Pisces? The Wheel of Fortune. Their intentions are to reach success with you. Um, with the Seven of Swords here with the Wheel of Fortune, they may be trying to I want to clarify just the Seven of Swords. Why the Seven of Swords, Spirit? And their intentions. Why the Seven of Swords? The person that's on Pisces mind and their intentions towards Pisces. Why the Seven of Swords? The Six of Cups in reverse. So they may be trying to keep something in the past here to themselves. Something that's unpleasant. Maybe they are trying to keep you protected from that. With their intentions being the Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, they are trying to succeed. They are trying to turn the wheel in their benefit, right? They're, they're trying to pursue and accomplish pursuing you, get, get your, uh, your attention here. Their intention are to also keep some things from you. It does seem like stuff that's in the past, but more like unpleasant things that are in the past. Maybe their intentions are to try to escape that past, to try to get away from that. Maybe they're trying to pretend like it's not there. Their goal is to succeed with you. Their intentions. or to be recognized by you. They definitely want your attention. In regards to their next likely action towards you, Pisces, we have the Five of Swords in reverse. Spirit, why the Five of Swords for their next likely action? The Fool. Um, one more with that, Spirit. The Knight of Wands. Okay, so their next likely action here there's some sort of revenge.
Maybe they feel like they're getting revenge by accomplishing, pursuing you. For them, it, it kind of makes them feel like they're on a new journey and that they can passionately move in a different direction. They feel a lot more inspired and motivated in this situation. They want to stay with that momentum. They want to continue to feel good, continue to feel new energies, especially if their intentions are to try to escape, escape some sort of past nostalgia here. In regards to how you currently see the person on your mind, Pisces, we've got the Nine of Swords. Spirit, can you give us more information? Why the Nine of Swords in regards to how Pisces sees the person on their mind at this time? Ten Cups wanted to come out. So Pisces, the way that the person on your mind currently sees you, they may see you as a good catch. They may see you as someone that can make them look good. Because who we're with is a reflection of us, so if they are able to pursue you and accomplish that, that will look really good on them, is what I'm getting as well, with how they see you and the cards surrounding that with their intentions and their next step. Nine of Swords here, why How does that, Why does Pisces see the person on their mind as Nine of Swords spirit? Got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. One more. And the Magician in reverse. So this person stresses you out or this dynamic. You feel some sort of negativity here. Maybe you feel like you don't have what you... If this is how you see the pers your person, you may feel that they can't manifest things for themselves, that they're not willing to do the work. I think you may know about maybe this past of theirs that they're trying to kind of brush off. You may see and pick up on their intentions with you being involved with more of an image or revenge here. You definitely see them at this time as not doing the work to manifest things in a genuine and real way for themselves. In regards to your intentions towards the person on your mind, currently they are the Queen of Swords and the Page of Wands in reverse. Spirit, why the Queen of Swords? in regards to Pisces' intentions towards the person in their mind. One card up right or reverse, nothing off the ground. We've got the Knight of Cups. So I think your intention is to be honest about their, their lack of independence, their lack of what they have to offer you. I think you want to be honest with what what you feel is lacking to them, like uh, productive criticism here. I think you want to be, yeah, honest with them about your perspective on what it is about them that you see isn't aligned with you. Um... Spirit, why the Page of Wands in reverse for Pisces with their intentions? The Hermit in reverse. I think you're going to stop playing nice here. If you have been, your intention is to maybe speak a little louder. 
it's almost like you've kind of already maybe communicated this to them and you maybe kept sugarcoating it or saying it in a way where they just were not listening or they weren't taking you seriously and your intention I think is to speak a little louder, use a little bit more words, be a little bit more honest, be a little bit more blunt. It's like you've reflected enough on it and you are more than aware of what's going on and what you see and what you're picking up on and you kind of don't want to waste your time and you don't want them to waste your theirs by trying to pursue you and you are not seeing it being something that is good in the long term. Your advice from spirit for you, Pisces, for the Regarding the person that's on your mind is the world in reverse. Why the world in reverse, spirit for advice. Why the world in reverse for Pisces. The Queen of Wands in reverse. One more. And the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I think spirit's trying to... I think it's I think spirits advising you on if your intention and your actions right now if you're running out of ideas because you are continuously rewording yourself and trying to have these serious conversations and this person's just not taking you seriously if that continues I think if that's what has continued, I think spirit here is just accepting that there is going to be a lack of closure, a lack of this person hearing you, a lack of you being able to probably leave the situation in a diplomatic where both of you can agree to disagree. It's more of like spirits reminding you that this might be a situation where you will not be able to really walk away from the situation where there's like harmony and peace and it's it being left on a good note because it does take two people and this person doesn't seem to be on the same page as you. I think spirits remind you here that you're going to feel incomplete and unstable if you try to continue to entertain this person. There's going to be the feeling of there's going to be a feeling of lack of accomplishment, lack of achievement. With how you see the person, you know, believe believe people the first time when they show you, tell you who they are. Unfortunately, that is, you know, we can only reword ourselves so many times. There, there's only so much energy and time we can put towards people. But if people are dedicated to misunderstanding you, there's no point um, to continue to push yourself to try to be understood by somebody like that. All right, loves, that's what I have for you now. I would love to hear if this resonates. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or would like for me to elaborate more. Um, until next time, and always sending you love, and you've got this.